All right, today's video is all about the aesthetic. So you've decided to use your office desk as the backdrop for your YouTube videos. So, you know, you have the RGB lights, the plant, the headphones, but ugh, what's up with that desktop background on your PC? Anyway, this edition of the lab is a quick one. We're gonna show you how you can set up cool motion backgrounds on your desktop monitor. All right, let's address the elephant in the room. Yes, there's a pretty cool piece of software called Wallpaper Engine that you can use to set up motion desktops. The only thing is that setting up your own custom one can be a bit tricky, or you gotta use the community provided ones. So here's our alternate method that we're gonna do using Expert Broadcaster. So basically with Expert Broadcaster, we're gonna use projector mode. And all you need to do is basically drop any video or image file into Expert Broadcaster, full screen it, and then project it out to your monitors. Now, if you have a monitor that's in portrait mode, you're probably gonna have to change it to landscape for this to work and then kind of orient and play things. But let's kind of look into the creative possibilities that you have with this. So first you can use a video playlist mode to have kind of like an ever-changing desktop background. And then you can use a combination of the split mode and then the ability to project out specific scenes to have basically different desktop backgrounds on different monitors. You can also use macros or hotkeys to set up different transitions. Like if you're trying to set up a transition into a tutorial. Now, if you're wondering where to find cool motion backgrounds, you can either pay a designer to make one for you, make them for yourself if you have the skills, or just kind of scour the internet for free motion backgrounds. Now, be careful with some backgrounds because some of them might be too bright and this might clip in your camera depending on its dynamic range. If it's too bright, you can adjust the brightness on the monitor or even adjust the brightness within XSplit. Also, be careful of the refresh rate on your monitor because sometimes you can get scan lines. So make sure that your camera's frame rate or shutter speed will match the refresh rate on your PC. So hopefully this tip helped you add just a little bit of extra production value to your videos. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments or even link us to some of your videos where you're using motion backgrounds. I'd love to see them. Give a like if this video was helpful and make sure to subscribe to be notified of the next time we visit the lab.